dear students hope you all doing good today we are going to learn the lesson measurement before getting into the lesson you just observe this 3d solid shapes sphere cylinder cone cube cuboid hexagonal now come into the lesson what is measurement measurement means the process of measuring something is called measurement measurement means the process of measuring something is called measurement before starting the lesson i am just showing you the mind map of this lesson in this lesson we are going to learn about physical quantities types of physical quantities that is fundamental quantities and derived quantities and their units for fundamental quantities their units are fundamental units for derived quantities their units are called derived units and their types physical quantities physical quantities are of two types fundamental quantities and derived quantities what are fundamental quantities fundamental quantities are the quantities which cannot be expressed in terms of any other quantities fundamental quantities cannot be expressed in terms of any other quantities there are seven fundamental quantities length mass time temperature electric current amount of substance luminous intensity they have fundamental units length is expressed in terms of meter mass is expressed in terms of kilogram time is expressed in terms of seconds for temperature kelvin is its fundamental unit and ampere is the fundamental unit of electric current mole is the fundamental unit of amount of substance and light intensity intensity is measured by candela and they are expressed in terms of alphabetical letters see here now let us look into derived quantities derived quantities are the quantities obtained by multiplying dividing or by mathematically combining the fundamental quantities examples area volume speed electric charge and density the formulas are given here to find area we have to multiply length into breadth that is having the fundam derived unit m into m to find area of an object we have to multiply length into breadth length and breadth are expressed in terms of meter so the derived unit of area is meter square or square meter to find volume volume means capacity to find capacity of an object we have to multiply length breadth and height and the derived unit of volume is meter cube or cubic meter to find speed of an object the formula is distance by time that is expressed in the unit meter second meter per second or meter second power minus 1 then electric charge 
to find electric charge we have the formula electric current into time that is expressed in the unit ampere second or coulomb to find density of an object we have the formula mass by volume that is expressed in the derived unit kilogram per cubic meter or kg power kg meter power minus 3 area the definition for area is area is a derived quantity obtained by multiplying twice of the fundamental physical quantity length once again i repeat it area is a derived quantity obtained by multiplying twice of the fundamental physical quantity length unit of area is square meter or meter square students just now you learnt about fundamental quantities their units and derived quantities with their units now we have to learn about area how to find area of regularly shaped figures square rectangle circle triangle are some regularly shaped figures and area is a derived quantity and we must know how to find area of regularly shaped figures to find area of a square we have the formula a into a that is a square square has equal sides so the formula is a square a into a then to find area of rectangle we have the formula length into breadth this is length and this one is breadth and to find area of a circle we have the formula pi r square r is radius and pi has the value 22 by 7 or 3.14 and to find the area of a triangle we have the formula 1 by 2 base into height this one is base and this one is height students let us see how to find the area of some regularly shaped figures to find area of a square having side 4 meter each recall the formula to find the area of a square a into a side into side right to find area of square we have the formula side into side a into a that is a square so we are multiplying 4 meter into 4 meter the answer is 16 meter square a is a derived quantity 16 is the value and meter square is the derived unit we must always express the quantity with their respective units don't forget to write the units next to find area of a pencil box pencil box is rectangular in shape here the measurement for sides are 25 cm length and 10 cm breadth to find area of a rectangle we have the formula length into breadth 25 cm into 10 cm the answer is 250 cm square the value of area is 250 and cm square is the derived unit to find area of a circle whose radius is 7 m we have the formula pi r square pi has the value 
by 7. Then R is 7 meter. So for R square 7 into 7. Now I am striking 7 with 7. Then the final answer is 154 meter square. To find area of a triangle whose base is 6 meter and height is 8 meter, we have the formula 1 by 2 into base into height. Base is 6 meter, height is 8 meter. So the final answer is 24 meter square. So now we have seen some problems to find area of some regularly shaped figures. Then how to find area of irregularly shaped figures? For that we are using graphical method. This leaf is irregular in shape. So I am keeping it on a graph sheet and drawn its outline. So it has covered some space here no? Now you started shading this. Like that you can shade complete squares. Here, see, some squares are incomplete. Here, here you can see some squares are incomplete. So, for that, we have the formula. To find area of an irregularly shaped object by graphical method, we have the formula m plus 3 by 4 n plus 1 by 2 p plus 1 by 4 q centimeter square. Here the m represents the squares which are completely shaded and the n represents the squares which are 3 by 4 shaded. And P represents the squares which are exactly half shaded. And Q represents the squares which are less than half shaded. Here the shaded portions are com completely shaded squares. And here you can observe less than half square. And this one is more than half square. Uh, this is exactly half shaded square. So, using the formula, we are calculating the area of irregularly shaped. Using the formula, we are calculating the irregularly shaped figure. Here, I am using an approximate value. So, M represents complete shaded squares. N represents more than half shaded squares and P represents the exactly half shaded squares and Q represent less than half shaded squares. So I am using an approximate value uh, and for that the final answer is 60.25 centimeter square. Students, in this session, we have learnt about fundamental quantities, their units, derived quantities and their units and how to find area. Area of regular objects, area of irregular objects by graphical method. Up to this, we have learnt in this session. 
the lesson to be continued in next class now i am giving you an assignment learn and write five times the table of fundamental quantities and their units derived quantities and their units and the formulas for irregularly regularly shaped figures okay thank you